So here's the fabric that we got to recover the camper cushions. It is a brand called Performatex and it is upholstery fabric. We got it at Hobby Lobby. And the thing I really liked about this and one of the reasons why I chose it is because it is actually machine washable and actually has some really nice qualities. So this was not the cheapest fabric, um, but I really didn't want to have extremely cheap fabric either. I wanted to make these so that they could be removed from the cushions and washed. Um, and it's really nice and thick and durable. It's like a tweed fabric. So I am going to wash it before I start sewing, just so that if it does shrink at all, um, it shrinks before we actually <clears throat> sew it to fit our cushions. So I will be back to show you how to sew it. To recover this dinette cushion, um, this is the back cushion, not the one that you sit on. So it's a little bit smaller, it's more narrow. You can see over there, I have the one that is larger. That's the, the actual seat cushion right there. So the method for recovering it is basically the same. It's just the width of this material um, across this way is not wide enough um, to cover the larger cushion without having to cut an extra strip that is lengthwise to sew along the edge to actually make the width of this piece larger so that you can complete this process. But I'm gonna show you how to do this with the, the more narrow one. So basically I have my cushion laid out here um, and I have already cut my material, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut your fabric so that um, you have a good hand width of material here. I probably should have a disclaimer here. I am not a seamstress, uh, professional seamstress at all. I've never had any professional sewing training. Um, I am a complete DIYer who has learned how to do sewing myself. That being said, I have been sewing since I was probably 14. So anyway, um, I'm not good at following a pattern. I really hate patterns. And so if you are a professional seamstress, you're probably not watching my video anyway, but uh, you would definitely not like the way I'm doing things. <laughs> so anyway, there's my disclaimer. So now um, I have the fabric cut so that what I can do is lay this fabric over um, each side so that it meets, it overlaps in the middle. You wanna have a decent overlap because we are going to create an envelope basically cover that you can take on and off of this cushion so it can be washed. So um, this is a salvage edge, which is from the manufacturer. So I know this edge is not going to fray. So I am not going to um, hem this edge at all because I'm not worried about it fraying when I wash it. However, this edge was not the salvage edge. So I did already fold this over and hem it so that when it's washed, it won't fray. Um, now what I have done is flipped the material so that it is, the cushion is laying on the right side of the material. So when I flip this over, this is actually the wrong side of the material right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the edge that is gonna be seen after this is all said and done, we flip it right side out. The edge that's gonna be seen, I'm gonna put up there first, and then I'm gonna be flipping that other piece over, and I'll show you that in a minute after I get this all lined up. Okay, now that you have your fabric folded over, you are going to take the end of the fabric and you're going to pinch it right up to the edge of the cushion and you're gonna pin it and you're gonna do that all the way along the sides of each end so that when you're done, it looks like this. I have pinned all the way along there and then I took a Sharpie and I just drew a line across there because what we're gonna do next is take the cushion out and sometimes it's helpful to have an actual visual line to see where you're gonna be stitching. 
I should mention that when you're pinning this, um, you want to make sure that you have both sides of the fabric pinned up, not just the top piece. You want to pinch it together and pin the whole thing, but do not pin it to the cushion. Now I have the cushion out and I'm just going to stitch along both sides of here where I have pinned. Once both ends are sewn, you're going to fit the cushion back in with the wrong side facing out like you had it before when you were pinning it. Okay, now I've got my cushion back in and we're going to trim this so that you have probably an oh, inch and a half, two inches of leftover material from the edge of the seam. Like that. Nice clean edge. Now we're going to turn it on its side. You're going to find this edge and pull it tight and it kind of forms a triangle like that. You're going to pinch it tight close to the edge of the cushion and then you're going to pin along this edge also pinning up all of this material together. Okay, and once again, you can draw a seam line if that makes it easier for you. Um, it does seem to make it easier for me, so I'm doing that. So you're gonna do this to all four corners. And then you're gonna take the cushion off again and stitch along these lines on all four corners. Then you're gonna flip the material right side out and fit the cushion back in and it should be the way it needs to be. One thing I forgot to mention is um, when you're pinning these, I try to make sure that this seam edge gets folded over in the same direction on both ends so that it lays flat. Otherwise, you might get it twisted. Okay, so here is the final deal. It's right side up on. Let's see if I can get this flipped over. You can see there's a seam on the end. This is the envelope section and this is the back side so what I plan to do is get a little bit of velcro and sew some velcro on in just a few spots here just to keep this tight against the, the edge here but otherwise that's all there is to it and you can easily take this on and off to wash it